Oh yes, oh absolutely yes, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing a couple of the TB League of Fison bodies. Uh, uh, hello folks, uh, this is Jenobi2, and thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. Uh, TB League has done it again. They have released uh, two female bodies, a unique design with head sculpts. Uh, please jot down these model numbers so that I don't have to uh, comment. Uh, S45 and the S44, that's what's going to be reviewed in this episode right there. And uh, this episode is brought to you by KG Hobby, the Hong Kong online retailer where I get majority of my Fison TB Link bodies. They're super fast, prices are very fair, very competitive. If you don't want to wait for a Big Bad Toy Store to deliver your TB Link bodies, go to KG Hobby. A link is in the description below. I'm telling you, they have the best selection when it comes to TB Link bodies. Now, uh, let's get back to the uh, review, shall we? So, we're going to start off with the small bust, tan body. And this is a new design, new sculpt, uh, new everything. Uh, one of the great things with TB League is that they're, you know, from experience, they are a very innovative company. They're constantly improving their bodies. They're constantly uh, added more articulation. Uh, and I do love this these uh, these series where you can actually buy a TB League Fison body, and it includes a head sculpt. So plus costume right there. Well, not costume, but uh, clothing right there. The only thing that I'm noticing that uh, I thought that would have come with this particular set is a stand. Sometimes they they give you a stand. Sometimes they don't. It's not a deal breaker since this only retails on KG Hobby for 66 bucks. So it is still a very fair competitive deal price for what you're getting. You're getting clothing right there. Uh, you get a, a top, pair of shorts, and uh, you're also getting a head sculpt. And the head sculpt is fantastic. Uh, there's a little bit of loose hair there and so forth. Grab your toothbrush. You're going to be needing it to uh, uh, comb the hair and so forth. Uh, it's pretty. It's very pretty. This is uh, more, I would say, falls under the young adult. I wouldn't necessarily assume this is a teen body because I feel like they've done the teen body already. This is more of a, a I would say anywhere between 18 to 20 type female body, not so much of an of an older female body. But uh, something else too that if you've noticed is that uh, this particular body is not so much uh, uh, anatomically correct, so to say. So it's very different. So it is more of a young adult. Uh, it, it, it has that sports uh, outfit that it comes with it very I mean it's done very nice this reminds me uh, of the uh, character of Alita so if you wanted to do a human humanistic version let's say of, of Alita I would I would guess this would be the body that you would want to use for a kid bash uh, would be my take the uh, the Fice and Tokyo pop bodies were probably around the same age bracket as this too uh, I wouldn't see this as so much anything less than a, uh, y yeah, I would say more of a, of a young adult. Very small though. I grabbed out the ruler here. Measures about 10, 10 and a half inches. So very small. Right there. Most, uh, most TB League f uh, female bodies, I would say, what, closer to 11 inches. Some of them could even hit 12 inches. Uh, shoulder to shoulder, about 2 inches right there. And let's get the outfit there. So I had to look at the uh, the details because I didn't know what this top was. But this is a sunscreen shirt. So as she's out playing volleyball with the girls, uh, that's what, uh, and she's taking a break, that's the top that she would want to wear. You can see there's a, a, an extra double lining on there. Uh, what's also cool too is that the pant, uh, the inner lining is white. So uh, fear of staining the body, which is very common. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about that. I'm re I'm removing the feet because I prefer more of the uh, the high heel uh, feet there with the toes protruding. I just think it just looks so much better with the high heels versus the flat feet. Flat feet I would probably I would I would reserve that for more if, if I had to pair of sneakers. So let's get the uh, the shorts on and I'll let her um, put the shorts on. You can see right there. Very like I said, it's just beautiful beautiful body they really did a great job on this uh 
on this new uh, stainless steel body there. And, and for those of you who are not aware, uh, there's what, 30 points of articulation? There's tons of articulation. Uh, stainless steel, skeletal, frame-like body wrapped in a silicone hybrid mesh rubber body. So as long as you don't do anything extreme or dynamic, this Fison body should last years, extreme years. So just be aware of that. And uh, any, any type of dark clothing too, uh, you always wanna wash that out because the, uh, the silicone body has a tendency to absorb dark colors or anything that tends to bleed. So overall, great, beautiful. Love the head sculpt. Everything about this is great for the price and, and what you're getting for it. Uh, we're going to uh, unbox the pale version. And what's also nice and, and, and how they kind of get you to is that the head sculpt with the pale version is completely different. And, uh, and, if, and if you're curious as to which head sculpt I think looks the prettiest, I would definitely say that the, uh, the pale version, the head sculpt that comes with the pale version is very nice. Very attractive, very pretty get the uh and i thought the costume or i don't call it costume but I, the clothing i thought it'd be the same color but they are giving you a different set of clothing even the uh, the sunscreen t-shirt is different pop that off there uh you get two uh, i know i mentioned but you do get two pairs of hands and an extra pair of feet and uh, that's it that's gonna be it the only thing that i think i would have wanted for it to include would be a stand but it's not a deal breaker it's still pretty competitively priced for what you can get overall uh, pale skin compared to the to the, uh, the suntan more of the uh, pale skin is more of in line to the, uh, the Asian market more of a Japanese milk uh, skin tone uh, very pretty well I mean this is just phenomenal stuff that they're able to pump out at these prices compared to everything else that we're uh, that we are subjected to so Grab your toothbrush though, and those little loose strands and hairs, you can uh, comb that off. I use a solution of water and a fabric softener. Uh, a little bit of dab of that on the toothbrush and you can you can, you can comb those uh, strays right out of there. So uh, this next shot here, I just wanted to show you that the uh, if you're unaware of what these bodies are capable of doing, and showing you the uh, articulation and so forth, it's just, it's incredible. Now, these bodies are great for some serious kit bashing. Any character, as, I mean, as long as the parts are uh, are out there, you can really just use your imagination to create any character. But I would probably say more of the uh, this one here with the pale skin tone is probably more, would be more in line for a humanistic version of Alita. So let's get the shorts right there, the extra line in the blue, and the, and the little the top. Right there and I will let her uh, put the shorts on as she struggles with those shorts and uh, it does take uh, it's, it's not quite easy you really do want to be careful when you're up uh, putting the, uh, the clothing on the uh, just because of the uh, the, uh, the traction the uh, the skin tension on there it's just it's difficult unless you're powdering or you're wrapping it in some sort of plastic it uh, becomes a little bit difficult and you can see the overall look. She is clothed. It's really nice. It's a, it's, it's a great set. It'll uh, definitely be a wonderful added addition to uh, the, uh, the, swim, the swimsuit collection from TB League Fison. Little uh, Tokyo Anime Pops and the, uh, and the other, I can't think of the other model names. You guys are gonna kill me. That's the thing with these models. These model numbers are so complex and so algorithmic. I just kind of wish if it was up to me that TB Lee would just issue the numbers for the models just a little bit more easy just to make it a little bit more easy to remember but overall beautiful set very happy with it and uh, again KG Hobby link is in the description beautiful set these are 66 bucks uh, even with shipping it's still going to be very competitive compared to what uh, you can get over at Big Bad Toy Store so like, subscribe. I hope you had fun watching this review. And uh, see you in the next video.